Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in case you are in an absolute hurry, there are three major updates for you. Our resume builder is out. There are now more than 35 mock tests available for all of you. And also there is a new course which is available at less than pizza price. But in case you are in a little bit more spare time and you want to listen more in depth about each of these updates and a little bit story behind them, then stay tuned and let's get started and talk about them, starting with Resume Builder. So now officially our Resume Builder is out at buildresume.learncodeonline.in. This entire thing of Resume Builder got started with as a fun discussion at One Saturday Live and a user said that, hey Tesh, you should really do something about building the resume because it sometimes is a little bit tricky for having a perfect resume and we have to go through with a lot of websites. It would be great if you can offer this on your website and we can find a central place to get our resume. And I really liked the idea and I looked upon onto a variety of websites. A whole lot of websites actually are doing a great job. But I found that some of these websites charge and takes your credit card information and charge you a teeny tiny amount to get the resume. Those who are giving you the free resume either get a powered by of their website name or give a watermark on the resume. Some who are not doing any of this are actually not doing a great job in giving you the resume. They just give you an image which is being saved as a document of PDF type, which is bad. Because a lot of companies, when they go through with your resume, they use softwares. And if these softwares are not able to grab these texts, which the companies are looking forward, it's not going to be great for you. And of course, sending a document instead of the PDF of the resume is a bad, absolutely bad idea not a professional way of dealing the things. So looking out and addressing all of these situations, we thought, let's go ahead and give it a try of building our own resume. It was not the easiest of the project, but our team and everybody at LCO has handled this absolutely nicely. You can go on to buildresume.learncodeonline and in the version one, we are offering uh, four to five templates that you can go ahead and quickly edit them. Is it the perfect website and the perfect product? Absolutely not. This is the version one. And eventually in the version two, we are going to make more refinements as well as we'll try to give more control to the user for the components, uh, to the colors, as well as try to add more templates here as well. I know that some of you don't like these kinds of fancy templates. You need more templates which are simplistic and just bare minimum colors or at least no colors and without photos as well. So yes, I got all that feedback through LinkedIn and Instagram and I have noted them all down and we will definitely roll out these updates in the later half of or the by the end of this year. A lot of you also DM'd me in my LinkedIn and Instagram that, hey Tesh, why don't you put this as an open source so that we can also contribute. Now I thought about it and I almost clicked on the button to make this repo entirely public, but the problem is I don't have time to handle all those nightmare of the pull requests that are gonna be coming in. I'm pretty sure easily 100, 200 requests will come up that will say, I have edited your readme file. So instead of going that path, what I will do eventually, once we are happy with the product, uh, what we are offering in the version one and two, then we will definitely hire more interns to design more templates or do more refinements. So that's, I think is a better approach. We will be able to hire interns, pay them nicely, and they will be able to uh, get an industry uh, standard experience, as well as they will be able to help in something which thousands and thousands of students are using on the daily basis. Moving ahead to update number two, which is rolling out 35 mock tests, more than 35 mock tests available for all of you. Now what happens that usually people think that in the interviews, I'm gonna just walk in, they will ask me the question of competitive programming or we'll have a discussion about the project, which is not true in majority of the cases. In these interviews, there is a problem of crowd. It's a lot, lot of people that are giving these interviews. So the companies take refinements and try to filter out the segments. Some uh, filter them based on their percentage, uh, there's, uh, what's the score in the exam, or maybe sometimes through these initial rounds. In almost all the bulk recruiting companies, and in companies like Adobe, TCS, Microsoft, whatever you just named them, they have prelim rounds in which they ask these aptitude questions in the college or they give you these interview sets for C, C++, JavaScript, uh, networking, DBMS, and a whole lot of other things. Now, you will be surprised to know that it's not a lot of variety of questions that are being asked in these interviews. If you understand the patterns and all those variety of questions that are being asked, preparing for interviews, for aptitude, for the DBMS, for networking, 
it's relatively an easy job. The question that you see in the Microsoft are definitely going to appear a lot in the other companies like Google or TCS or Infosys and a bunch of others as well. So our entire team has worked really hard and prepared a whole lot of questions so that you can also prepare for these interviews. Not just the questions, but to give you a simulation of an exact environment that you are going to see during the interviews. So all those timers, questions, how you can review, mark for review these questions, and the entire exam arena that you're gonna face in those companies, we got that here too. So as of now, we are rolling out with 35, more than 35, a mock test exam that you can opt in just right now. Now, of course, I have kept a couple of them for free so that you can at least take them like C, JavaScript, a, a couple of aptitude. I have, I have kept them absolutely free so that you can at least taste that how these environments are and can do a little bit better in the upcoming interviews. Now, definitely some of you can argue that, hey, Tish, why are you not rolling out these entire mock tests for free so that we can prepare, can get the job and earn money and all of your hard work that you have done in the course, you have no right to earn money. Now, surely you can put that free comment in the comment section. It's totally fine and a nice debate to have, uh, but let's not talk much about on that. Now, moving on to the update three. So yes, I thought initially to roll out a separate video for that. Maybe I'll do that somehow later. Uh, but now another course on the HTML and CSS is out. This is a freshly recorded new course and giving you all the standards of learning HTML and CSS. When it comes to learning HTML and CSS, everybody says, I know it. And I know this problem. I have addressed this in the very first video of this course. I know people are familiar with those tags and they want to learn that how professionally these websites are being built up in the speed, in what's the thought process behind that and how they are able to create that. It's a great starting course and a beginner's guide for people who are trying to look forward to go into web development. This is the first stepping stone by getting started with HTML and CSS. It's a fantastic course and just like always, I am bringing it up in less than a pizza price. So as of now, the course price is just 199 rupees. Uh, but again, it may go up a little bit uh, in the future, so no promises on that. And rest of the stuff is exactly same, the same audio quality, the same video quality, same content quality. You get the support of our team as well and certifications are included too. So these are the three major updates. And since you have stuck so long in this video, let me give you another uh, secret update here. There is also a tool available at invoice.learncodeonline.in. So in case you are a freelancer and you need to give uh, all these invoices to different companies, uh, you can also now use that. It's absolutely free and it's not branded. You can even put your watermark instead of our so everything is open for that so in case you have stuck so long just go ahead and enjoy that as well i'm really happy and excited about this resume builder because a thought that just came in the saturday live discussion section is now a full-fledged project and it's going to grow over over the time so really happy about this one and yes i was not present in the last saturday live because i got my vaccine shot on friday and it was not a good weekend but all is good now i'm all uh, healthy and perfect now so yeah, things are going fine. And in case you have enjoyed all these updates or things that I do on this channel, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video. Brightly the light of mine will burn out The mountains where I spend my rambling years